Hi, my name is Ilva Zilkin, and I'm the author of Blue Mountain Miss. I am sitting here today at home in Markham, Ontario, and uh, I picked up this book. Uh, this book was placed into my collection. I'm not too sure why, but I guess the uh, the individual wanted me to read it. Uh, it may have come God knows where. It's saying Canada, Toronto uh, as the publishing site, uh, which is okay. Nothing unusual. Uh, very British, old 1940s. Uh, book. Uh, but what is interesting about this particular book is when I get midway through uh, the paragraph, it says Sheila sighed and put her brown thin arm through the water. Um, I had to look at it twice, like, am I reading this right? Uh, because you just have to understand the fabric of uh, Canadian history or the British inside Canadian history in the 40s. Um, the, the fabric of it being, um, very, very racist, uh, and never mentioning color in any of their, uh, old historical books. Um, now in this particular case, it might actually be, uh, that a brown arm ran through the water, but where I caught them was, uh, at the thrift store, I picked up another book and around the same time, about 80 years ago, I couldn't believe it. The book had uh, a British captain married to a beautiful East Indian woman at 80 years ago. Now, that is 100% fraud. Um, here is the thing. Uh, in C3, a lot of Canadians lost their lives. Again, it's a hidden war. Um, so there's two possibilities. One, they are catering to the new demographics of East Indians that moved out to Vancouver or and or they're doing more fraud with our history our history or especially our canadian history um and it's funny because when i brought out the journals uh they were screaming bloody murder murder we don't know our history with all novel documentation only to find out that they were backdating copyright in old books so they did get caught in that particular case but here's what's interesting. We have two kilometers of old books inside the Vatican that nobody ever reads. It just sits there collecting dust. So the question is, should we let these children or these whoever alter history like that? Or should we actually focus on how racist the British were inside Canadian territory? And that is the issue uh, of um, this in particular insert it is very, very unfortunate because we all want a piece of history. And this is where, um, why I got so horrifically injured because I actually uh, cheated the system a little bit and pulling out history. Um, and I actually broke into Vatican's most secret files um, doing it in that format. Now that is sort of hidden uh, but if we do the real Evolve, at least the beauty is you get a peak at 20,000 years from now. Because everything I do right now is being documented. But by giving a gift to the globe of bits and pieces, you get a chance to witness um, a little bit of history. And we want people to appreciate that chance a little bit because we lost a lot of people inside Canada um, and again uh, you know with great difficulty that was brought out uh, and that is where we are today another insert something to make uh, uh, you think about and something to question whether uh, or debate on whether sh we should we just simulate uh, fake history for the sake of entertainment or should we actually do our best to document and record with accuracy history for all of humans today? Thank you and have a good day.